So the other day, I made a video about the great movie with Sally Fields, Not Without My Daughter. I was looking on YouTube, and the, the actual real father and husband, Dr. Mahmoudi, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, was talking, okay? And uh, he's trying to come across, you know, like he's a victim type of situation, you know? Like, I was a great father, I was a great husband, you know, um, you know th there was another lady there who was talking on these YouTube videos that uh, was saying, you know, he would never hit his wife, he was not a violent person, I never saw her with a black eye, I never saw her hurt, he always gave her permission to come out with me. I think this was the woman that was portrayed in the movie who was the other American woman who married uh, another uh, Iranian doctor and they you know, became very good friends. I think this is the, the woman. But anyway, they're just trying to make it seem like she was just this money-hungry person who uh, just wanted to write a book, make a movie, and uh, accomplished her goals. Look, all I can tell you is this. If everything was true, that he would have gave them permission, that she could have took her, her, you know, her daughter to America, why would she go through this trouble? Why would she escape? I mean, it's just so, it's just such simple common sense. She, right? Mm -hmm. it, there would have been no problem if, if he was this nice guy to say, yeah, go, go back to America with my daughter. No. Obviously, it rings true that this guy was keeping her against her will, detained against her will, his daughter detained against their will. I mean, that's just my opinion. Because, again, I mean, isn't it common sense if he would have been like, you know, go back to America anytime you want. Take my daughter. Go have fun. You know, go, go, go to Disneyland. And then when you're done, you can come back. I don't think there would have been any point for her to, uh, you know, obviously go through what she went through, you know, to uh, escape the country, to escape Iran. That's just my opinion. But, you know, this is a guy who didn't just get, you know, screwed. <laughs> he got really screwed. Fuba, you know, Fuba oh, effed up beyond all recognition because how it all ended for this guy. Not only did his ex-wife leave taking his daughter, she made millions of dollars, right? She, she, she became very, very successful with her book and her movie. The daughter, I mean, I don't know. It seems like eventually she said she might have forgave him, but from what I'm seeing, he couldn't see her. You know, he was calling up so many, you know, officials in the United States of America, and they were just like, look, you've been out of the country so long, your green card doesn't even count anymore. We'll arrest you right on the spot. You know, and then on top of that, he was like, can you reach out to my, my daughter? They're like, we have no power to do that. We're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So, like, in other words, it's like he couldn't see his daughter. In this uh, YouTube film, um, he uh, went to Finland with the hopes that his daughter, like, he, he, I guess on the internet, he found their contact phone number, and he was leaving messages. You know, I'm in Finland. I'm in Finland. Come see me. Come see me. Neutral. Mm -hmm. Neutral country. But she never went to see him. So this guy got the royal treatment. And you know what? Hey, kind of, it's calmer. Karma gets you in the end. Karma got this guy big time. That's it. What are you going to do? Boo bamboo. Video is not financial advice. Not a financial plan. The video is for entertainment purposes only.